it's, a, it's being away from the club a, a nice distraction or, or you know whichever club you're playing at is it is it nice to not have to think about your future which always get asked about yeah definitely i think uh, when you come away when you come away with wales i only i only ever fo focus on the next next game and because I feel if you were to think about anything else than that, you'd be silly because you get distracted from different things. So yeah, my f my focus when I'm here is is fully on Wales and making sure we get as far as in this comp competition as we can. And then uh, once the competition's finished, uh, that that's when I think about uh, what's happening on on a club level. Yeah, going into the season has just been. I had the Euros in my head. I knew that was coming at the end of the season. So. I knew I had to be somewhere where I was going to play regular football, um, make sure I had the, had the minutes uh, that, that I wanted. I knew being at Liverpool I, was, I wasn't going to get that. Um, so yeah, when the chance to go on loan come around, I knew I had to, I had to take it. And yeah, to play for Cardiff, obviously a Welsh, a Welsh team, was, uh, yeah, it was a great honour for me. Um, yeah, like I said, the season, uh, there was a lot, a lot of ups and downs. I think we started fairly well. Uh, then we had a bit of a sticky spell in, in the middle, like you said, a change of manager. But then the last, I'd say, 12, 13 games, um, I feel I done, I done well. Played, played, played regularly. Played um, a lot, a lot of football. So, like you said, my scored scored a few towards the end. So yeah, I was happy with the way the season finished um, and the, and the minutes I got throughout. And do you think a lack of game time for your club this season is going to affect you in any way? Um, no, I don't think so. Um, I think as a professional, it's not just if you're not playing at your club reg like more as what you think you should be, um, you need to make sure you're keeping up your fitness. And, and if that's, I don't know, doing extra in training, um, coming in on your days off, then you have to do that. Um, I think us as professionals, we know we know how our body feels, and if we don't feel fit enough in the game, then, like I said, we we have to come in on our days off, or we have to do more um, after training. So I don't think that's going to play a big part in, in a game if I play. Um, I've always had that energetic um, kind of style to my game where kind of for me it's always just non-stop running and trying to give the team as much energy, energy as possible. So um, I hope that doesn't play a big part, but obviously out here um, it's hot um, and you know the lads. It's, it's, it is hard playing in whatever degrees we're playing in. If it's 25, 30 degrees, so it's going to be tough. But um, if we stick as a team and everyone's helping each other, then that's only going to make it easier for for ourselves. It's, I've had to put a lot of hard work to get in where I am now. Um, and if that's gym work or or extra training after after training sessions, um, like I said, I've always been as growing up. I've always been quite small and. Luckily enough, um, as the years got on, I've, I've grown, I've got stronger, I've got quicker. Um, that's 100% developed me as a player. And playing with these senior lads, training, training, training with these lads, training with Liverpool lads, um, some of these players I'm training with on a daily basis is the, they're the best in the world. So that's gonna that's de developed me as a player um, a lot and matured me as a player.